victim to scammers and hackers and the fallout can be intense. Imagine your life savings vanishing into the space of a few minutes, your Bitcoin or crypto being stolen, having your social media accounts taken over, and having horrible things posted from your social media account and people think it is you. These kinds of scenarios happen and are getting more common every day. Hackers are becoming increasingly more sophisticated and the companies that store our personal information are way more vulnerable to attacks than we want to think. Today we are going to talk about SIM swapping, which is a way a hacker can gain access to your phone and by extension your bank account, brokerage account, your email, social media, or any other account you use your telephone for, that sacred code, to prove you are really you. Unfortunately, traditional cell phone companies are not doing much to protect you, but it is not all bad news. There is a cellular phone company named Ifani that has stepped up and made it more difficult for hackers. Ifani offers the nation's most secure mobile service and claims when it comes to security against hackers and SIM swap, Ifani has a 100% success rate. Ifani offers a secure mobile service operated using the nation's top mobile towers for the best coverage AT&T or Verizon. You can keep your existing number and move it to Ifani's secured safe plan. Ifani replaces your bill just rerouting your spending. Also, they provide 24-7 support with real people. The safe plan comes with a 100% money-back guarantee for 60 days and includes 11-layer proprietary military-grade security, unlimited call, text, data within U.S., Canada, and Mexico, 5G access on America's largest and fastest network, Wi-Fi calling, keep your current number, international data roaming, and $5 million insurance coverage. So what is a SIM swap exactly? SIM swapping, also known as a port out scam, SIM splitting, or SIM jacking, is when a hacker is able to take over your phone by moving information from the SIM card currently in your phone to a SIM card the hackers control. Once the hackers have control of your phone number, they ask companies like Google to send them a temporary login code via text message to the victim's phone. Once the hacker has control over your account, it is a hop, skip, and a jump to getting your bank account, Bitcoin, crypto, 401k brokerage, or pretty much anything they want. And if they are particularly evil, they can take over your social media accounts like Twitter and Facebook and send out messages that look like they are coming from you. There are a number of ways SIM swapping can happen. Plenty of people have become SIM swap victims victims by having the hackers call their mobile carrier, pretending to be the victim, and convince the operator to activate a new SIM card. There have also been situations where the hack is an inside job by cell phone company employees or in which employees were bribed to turn over personal identification numbers to hackers. When hackers decide to go big, they go big. Recently in August of 2021, T-Mobile hacker stole 50 million customers' data. The 21-year-old American hacker said he used an unprotected router to access millions of customers' records. The hacker was able to access names, addresses, dates of birth, social security numbers, phone numbers, and personal identification numbers. This exposure puts those 54 million at risk of being hacked either by SIM swapping or something else. SIM swap cases. You probably heard about a few SIM swapping cases. In 2018, Michael Turpin, an entrepreneur and investor who co-founder the first angel fund for Bitcoin enthusiasts, was the victim of a SIM swap that resulted in a theft of $24 million in cryptocurrency. He alleges that low-level AT&T employees were bribed to give over his information to a cyber gang. One of the best SIM swapping scams didn't actually involve money. It was carried out in 2019 against Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, whose Twitter account was hacked after his phone was taken over. Hackers somehow convinced Dorsey's phone carrier to swap SIM cards and went on to tweet offensive messages in Dorsey's name 15 minutes before he got control over his phone back. All cases were all high-profile people and accounts, but do not think you are not at risk yourself. Just because you are not famous or have high net worth, SIM swapping is on the rise. If you think your phone is safe, it's probably not. Consider that a 2020 study conducted by a team of computer scientists at Princeton found that all five major carriers, AT&T, T-Mobile, TrackPhone, US Mobile, and Verizon, use insecure authentication methods. Visit them via the link in the bio.